In the 1870s, our great-great-grandfather, Johan Nilsson, settled in Elspund and started a bakery. Today, almost 140 years later, we, Karin Bodin and my sister Anna Borgerid, are part of the fifth generation still baking bread in Elspun. Over this time, both the bakery and the world have changed a lot. Back then, bread making was manual labor and the family bakery was fueled by wood. Today, it is an industrial operation powered by wind. In Johan's time, they baked a few kilos of bread per working hour. Now an hour by a baker in Edelspun results in over a hundred. Such industrial efficiency is the foundation of modern living standards. It has spread over the world and improved the lives of billions of people. But all is not well. In humanity's quest for better lives, nature has been a victim. The victim of numerous crimes, such as deforestation, species loss, and destructive resource extraction. The economic rules we live by today emerged in the early modern period. It was a time when money was scarce, because it was limited to precious metals. Nature, on the other hand, was seen as infinite and indestructible by Europeans who then set out to conquer and impose this view on the world. But more and more people now realize that the opposite is true. Money is created out of thin air. A few taps on a keyboard and it's done. So we've made money limitless. What is scarce in our time is nature. Pristine, healthy nature is now globally threatened. And why? Because of our own actions. Human influence has become so powerful that scientists today call this time the Anthropocene. Priceless ecosystem services are under threat. That which keeps us alive is at stake. But we still haven't accepted the truth, stuck in the full story that all economic growth is good. We mistake it for progress, regardless of what it does to Earth, our home. We look for quick fixes for any and all challenges. But now it's time to change the story, to change the rules of the game, and ask ourselves, what qualifies as progress on a limited planet? What is worth striving for? What should we allow ourselves to do? What should be forbidden? We must respect the needs of the biosphere. Let's work together to provide our daily bread in sustainable ways to secure future lives and livelihoods. Giving nature a voice means giving our true selves a voice. Because, in fact, as we eat, drink and breathe what the biosphere provides, we are nature. <laughs> <laughs>